Okay, let's talk about the AccuPlacer Next Generation AAF Math Placement Exam. So if you're watching this video, I assume you are preparing for the AccuPlacer uh, Next Generation AAF Math Exam. Now, uh, some of you out there could be preparing for just the AccuPlacer exam. Just so you know that the AccuPlacer is a math placement exam that colleges and, and universities use, but there are three different levels. So AAF is one of them. There is uh, an arithmetic level, uh, AccuPlacer. There's something called the QAS, and then we have the AAF. And the AAF is the most advanced uh, AccuPlacer. So if you're looking to place into maybe, uh, well, I would say maybe calculus, pre-calculus, a higher level math course, your college and university is going to uh, definitely um, have you take the AccuPlacer AAF. So they probably determine that by looking at your transcripts and already seeing uh, what math courses you have taken or what's your kind of what they think is your current math uh, uh, skills. So they'll give you a particular AccuPlacer, but double check, ask your university if um, or college or you know which AccuPlacer you're going to be testing because you don't want to be you know studying uh, for the arithmetic. Uh, or the arithmetic, and then end up, you know, taking the AccuPlacer AAF. Again, the AccuPlacer AAF is the Advanced Algebra and Functions AccuPlacer. Okay, so it's definitely the most advanced AccuPlacer out there. But just to make that clear so there's no confusion, but uh, that's what we're talking about here. And what I have for you is a nice little practice problem that you should be able to handle pretty easily if you are fully prepared for the AccuPlacer AAF. Now, before we get into this, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over the years, I've constructed a robust, super comprehensive math help program. I have a ton of math courses. Matter of fact, I have an AccuPlacer Next Generation AAF math test prep course. I've had this out for um, a number of years, and uh, it's been very, very successful. So if you're looking for a way... Um, to kind of like organize your you know, study and get some great material and really start um, focusing in on what you need to know for the AccuPlacer AAF, then you definitely want to check out my math course. I'm going to leave a link to my AccuPlacer AAF math test prep course in the description of this video. So you can check this out after we are, are done. But again, uh, the Advanced Algebra Functions uh, AccuPlacer you know, if you think about it, it's advanced algebra and functions. So we're not, you know, just talking about basic like algebra one type of stuff. We're talking about things that you would encounter in a second year algebra course or college algebra or even like pre-calculus. So you're really going to have to know a tremendous amount of stuff uh, in algebra to be fully ready for this AccuPlacer. But let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. This is what I would classify an easy problem. Uh, for those of you that are going to be taking the AAF. You should be able to handle this pretty nicely. So if you want to go ahead and solve uh, this equation, go ahead and pause the video. It should take you about all of about a minute to do. Of course, I'm going to solve it, but uh, before I solve it, I want to give you a chance to solve it. I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. Okay, so are you ready? All right, so uh, this is a quadratic equation. Okay, or this is a quadratic equation. But uh, I'm going to get into the solution now. So if you don't want to see the answer, just yet, go ahead and pause the video, but let's get into this. All right, so I said this is a quadratic equation. So what does that mean? Well, it's a polynomial, and it's a second-degree polynomial. It's a polynomial. Uh, so by definition, that means it's a quadratic equation. So I recognize this as a uh, uh, second-degree polynomial. And the great thing about this problem, which makes this nice and easy, is this is set equal to zero. Okay, now if this was another number like seven, well, then I would have to do a lot of extra work. Okay, that's for another uh, video. But uh, I'm going to give you a break with this problem. We got this thing set equal to zero. So what's the first thing we want to do to solve this problem? What's what's your, your approach? Okay, now I just want you to think about this for a second. Matter of fact, leave your answer in the comments section. Uh, what is the first thing we would do uh, to solve this problem? Okay, so hopefully you said, well, how about we just clear the fractions by multiplying by the lowest common denominator, okay? So we would just take the LCD, and anytime you multiply 
uh, anything by the LCD, an equation that has fractions involved in it, you will uh, clear the fractions in that equation. Now, if you uh, the LCD involved, has a variable in it, then that, uh, you can in introduce extraneous roots, but that's for another uh, video. But in this uh, case, the LCD is 6. Okay, so 2 and 3, LCD is 6. So let's go ahead and multiply 6 by this uh each one of the terms of this equation, and this is going to make our life a lot easier so we can get rid of these fractions. All right, so 6 times 1 half is going to be what? 2 goes into 6, 3, so 3 times 1 is 3, so this is going to be 3x squared. Now 6 uh, times 2 thirds is what? Well, 3 goes into 6, 2, okay, and 2 times 2 is 4, so that will be minus 4x, and then 6 times 0 is, of course, 0. Okay, so this is why we love zero uh, in equations. It makes our life a lot easier. Okay, now what do we do at this point? Well, uh, because this is equal to zero, uh, we want to look for opportunities to factor. So can I factor this right here? Absolutely, I can factor an x out. So I got x times 3x minus 4 is equal to zero. So x times 3x is 3x squared, and x times 4 is 4x. So here are the factors. And uh, the factors are equal to zero. So what we're saying is this thing times this thing is equal to zero. So we have this uh, property called the zero product property. It's an awesome property in algebra. And I mean, let's just take a look at it, right? If I have one, if I said, hey, I got two values. Um, I don't know what they are, but I know when I multiply them together, I, my answer is zero. So think about that. Hey, I got two numbers over here. And when I multiply them, my answer is zero. What are these numbers? What are these numbers? Well, one of these numbers has to be zero to get your answer, zero, one, or both. So that's the zero product property. Uh, so we have uh, factors, okay, a product that's equal to zero. What we end up doing is we just simply set each factor equal to zero. Okay, so one or both of these factors has to be zero. And let's go ahead and do that now. So 3x minus 4, that's equal to 0. So we already have one solution. Okay, that's x is equal to 2. Remember, in a quadratic equation, you always have two solutions. So let's finish up here. So 3x is equal to 4. I'm going to move that 4 to the side. So as x is equal to 4 thirds, there is our two solutions. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4 thirds. Okay, so if you got this right, then I must go ahead and give you a happy face and a check mark. That's outstanding. Very, very good. But again, remember, this is a pretty easy problem with respect to what you're going to see on ACPLACE or AAF. Now, if you didn't get this right, don't panic. You know, you want to um, use this as feedback and get going. But the one thing you don't want to do is not study. Even if you're, uh, you know, excellent in mathematics, you know, uh, if you haven't, if you've been away from math for even uh, some n number of months, you need to go back and review and really brush up. And uh, you know, it's going to pay to place into the highest level math course you can in college. Okay, so again, millions of people take the Accuplacer uh, each year. It's a huge, uh, you know, uh, test. So you're not going to be alone out there. Okay, but how many of those people really are going to take the time to study, or how many people are going to just go in there and wing it? Well, you know, we'll see, okay? You can't worry about what other people do. What you have to do is worry about yourself, and I'm here to help you prepare. So again, I'm going to leave a link to my Accuplacer Math uh, AAF, uh, Advanced Algebra Functions Math Test Prep course, in the description of this video. By the way, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time, 10 plus years, have over 1,000 plus math videos, so a lot of those videos can help you prepare uh, for the Accuplacer AAF, but you really want an organized, uh, structured, kind of um, course to go through to get fully prepared for the Accuplacer. But uh, anyways, I definitely wish you all the best on Accuplacer AAF. I know you can uh, score well and get into the highest level of math class you possibly can. And uh, hopefully this video helped you out. If that is the case, by the way, don't uh, forget to hit that like button on the way out. But uh, thank you for your time and have a great day.